Do you skip your meals now and again thinking it is absolutely fine? I will eat it later. What if I told you that your stomach hates this? I am Dr. Yogan Reddy. I am a senior medical gastroenterologist. In this video, I will show you what exactly happens to your stomach when you start skipping meals or not eating on time. Why can it be doing more harm than what you think? Some people even believe that skipping meals is a cause of stomach ulcers. Is this true? Let us find out the real answer. I will show in this video what ulcers look like when we do endoscopy. So we have a 28 year old uh, man with uh, repeated abdominal pain, feeling full and uh, also uh, having some burning sensation, not able to eat properly. And uh, this is the endoscopy video of uh, this uh, patient where we are checking the uh, stomach uh, through the mouth. We are putting a small tube with a high definition camera and light. As you can see, this part of the stomach is all looking uh, different from this part. So you can see here already that there are multiple areas of abnormality. So imagine like uh, when you get uh, uh, ulcer sores in the mouth, on the tongue. So similarly, these are uh, in the stomach. So what we call as antrum. So it's the further part of the stomach where we can see there is some changes here. So this, this is very typical of uh, uh, multiple ulcers. So this patient has got, uh, as you can see, all this. So there is multiple ulcers. Sometimes there are so many, uh, we don't need to count. So they're all fairly superficial, but uh, this uh, explains uh, why he has been having this uh, months and months of uh, abdominal symptoms, including uh, feeling full, feeling bloated, feeling heavy, and not able to eat and uh, drink properly. Properly. So this is not something that you can pick up by doing a scan. So we're just putting some water and uh, clearing the lens, checking the other part of the stomach as well, and just uh, re-examining this uh, area again where we have seen all these um, uh, ulcers. So we need to, we're just putting a different light and uh, just uh, seeing uh, from a different angle, that's all. So as you can see, there is uh, multiple ulcers that is scattered in the stomach. So no wonder he is getting abdominal pain, not able to eat properly and also been uh, losing some weight because every time he eats he is uh, feeling uh, full and heavy so he has been cutting down on eating so to minimize so this has been going on for months so there is no need to suffer he could have presented uh, uh, months ago this could this was a simple thing that uh, could have been picked up and we can treat. So these are very typical of what we call as peptic ulcers so ulcers that are scattered in different parts of the stomach. When we talk about ulcers, what are these? Ulcers are, imagine just like a small wound on your hand when you have a fall where there is some abrasion of the skin and you develop a wound. So it is just like that, like just I have shown you in that video. So these are peptic ulcers, so they can be found in the food pipe. They can be in the stomach, just like how I have shown you in that video. In the stomach lining, they can also be in the first part of small intestine, what we call as the duodenum. There are a variety of reasons for this and one of the commonest causes of ulcers, peptic ulcers, is bacteria in the stomach lining called H. pylori. This helicobacter pylori is so common in our country that if I told you that four, if I get hold of four or uh, uh, five people out of the ten will have H. pylori. So it is so common. Not everybody has symptoms but some people where they have got persistent uh, problems, this might result in chronic ulcers. So there are, of course, other reasons for uh, ulcers, painkillers like Bruf and Diclofenac. There are certain antidepressant medicines which you might be taking that might be contributing also. Commonly used medicine for heart patients, aspirin can also cause these kind of ulcers. People, of course, who smoke, who drink alcohol regularly, they're also putting themselves at a higher risk of developing ulcers. But just skipping meal, if you're missing out on your breakfast one day, missing out on your lunch or dinner, that itself is not going to cause directly the ulcers. But the catch is when your stomach is empty, there is more acid. So the, that acid has got nothing to digest. So this increase in the gastric acid can start causing irritation to the lining of the stomach. And this will start resulting in that burning sensation, feeling uncomfortable, feeling very full after you eat. And 
there is a lot of acid in the stomach sometimes that keeps coming back into the food pipe causing burning sensation in the chest sour liquid that comes up feeling heavy and feeling uh, very bloated so you just don't want to eat so there are a variety of issues that can start so if you st uh, start skipping meals and if this is happening repeatedly the gastric acid that is in the stomach lining can start causing chronic irritation chronic gastritis inflammation in the lining of the stomach for people who already have ulcers in the stomach, it can worsen the ulcers. And on top of it, if you smoke or if you are using painkillers, that protective layer, the barrier, what we call as the mucus cover, that becomes weak. So this makes your stomach more vulnerable to develop ulcers. What are the real risks of frequently skipping meals? You will obviously start feeling bloated because when you delay your meals, sometimes you end up overeating. So people indulge in eating more because they are so hungry and then they start to feel very uncomfortable. They regret why did they eat. The other thing is you start to feel tired, irritable because your blood sugar level starts to go down. So having not much to eat and not eating on time, if you're going around doing your work and doing other things because you're busy, this will only lead you to develop headaches that can last whole day feeling very fatigued, feeling irritable because you, you will find it also difficult to focus and work properly. Long term issues, if you are doing this repeatedly, you are putting yourself at risk of developing chronic gastritis, having to take antacid medicines repeatedly. Even worse is if you have ulcers, the chances of these ulcers getting significantly worse. And so this kind of issues happen when you start skipping meals on a regular basis. For people who have chronic gastritis, who have had ulcers previously, who are suffering with ulcers, this is what I recommend. Five tips to keep their stomach calm. Firstly, try and eat smaller and frequent meals. So some people feel heavy and bloated by eating normal sized meals. So they should eat perhaps every four hours. Smaller portions which is easier and kinder on the stomach to digest. Secondly, keep well hydrated, drinking water throughout the day. Because water dilutes the stomach acid, it relieves that burning sensation, it keeps the stomach free from direct acid related damage. Thirdly, avoid coffee or tea, certainly first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, especially if you have chronic gastric issues or if you had ulcers or same goes for spicy foods. Fourthly, don't lie down immediately. Try and maintain a gap of two hours before your dinner and you go to bed. This is one of the common problems I see in people who are getting repeated acidity, gastritis, reflux. Lastly, manage stress because your gut and brain, they talk to each other. High levels of stress, anxiety can stimulate the vagus nerve, can increase the stomach acid causing irritation to the stomach lining and can even make your ulcers worse. Please do comment on this uh, video if you require any uh, further information and also subscribe to this Digest to Health channel for more science-based videos. Thank you.